The most effective weapons in the world are seldom the most powerful solutions or the most technologically advanced devices. Instead, it's often the armament system that can be produced affordably and reliably, which can change the fate of a war. Under such a perspective, the United States, Saab, and Boeing recently joined forces in an unprecedented operation to unite two of their most efficient, time-proven, and affordable weapon systems and merge them into something capable of shaping the future of modern warfare. The idea is to take the raw power, precision, and compact size of the GBU-39B air-to-ground missile and the reliability and mobility of the HIMARS missile launcher platform to create a formidable new ground artillery solution whose parts are already in mass production. The missile has been part of the U.S. Air Force arsenal for almost two decades, while the HIMARS redefined the concept of mobility and efficiency in ground artillery armament. By combining the two, the Weapon Manufacturing Collective promises to bring affordable and reliable new solutions to the world's most brutal conflicts. The weapon is now being rushed to the Ukrainian battlefront, where it will be tested in combat for the first time, while boldly taking massive aerial firepower to the ground. A perfect match. Recent conflicts like the Russian invasion of Ukraine have shown that being able to support allies in battle with massive quantities of affordable weapon systems, capable of offering protection in extensive territories, is as important as delivering a few highly technologically advanced weapons that cannot be broadly deployed. But affordability is not the only reason to pursue the creation of weapon systems based on already widely available technology. Training is also a crucial factor. The Ukrainian forces are mostly unfamiliar with the most advanced Western armament systems. Even if they could be delivered to them in large numbers, the training infrastructure needed to make them effective would take too long to develop. Nevertheless, the problem has been directly addressed by the United States in collaboration with the Saab and Boeing corporations, which had to develop what they call the Ground-Launched Small Diameter Bomb, or GLSDB system. Such a system takes advantage of low-cost, previously demilitarized armaments, such as the multi-launch rocket system booster, by marrying it with a small-diameter bomb air launch platform. The result is what the coalition calls, quote, a revolutionary product. The new system's main advantages are its affordability, ease of use, and availability. Moreover, the weapon offers a wide array of tactical combat features that make it stand out in the current market. In addition, the GLSDB integrates the air-to-ground GBU-39 small-diameter bomb and the M26 rocket motor, widely available in U.S. stockpiles, and is equipped with GPS guidance, can overcome electronic interference, and can be utilized in any weather condition. According to Saab's website, it can defeat armored vehicles, launch attacks against air defense bunkers and caves, and has a margin of error of less than one meter. The system is unique in that it combines a long range with the capability to fire up to six weapons simultaneously. In addition, it has a new ground artillery feature, enabling it to target any angle, including those on the reverse slope of mountains. This is a significant breakthrough, as one of the weapons developers explains, quote, the enemy today is trying to stand behind mountainsides and things like that to avoid being engaged by ballistic missiles that can only do one type of engagement. But the GLSDB does not have that limitation, which means no matter how the enemy positions itself, to protect its assets from artillery attacks, it will be fair game for the new glider missile. From the factory to Ukraine. The GLSDB system has been proven effective and safe during its testing phase. However, the weapon has not yet been utilized in combat scenarios. That is about to change, as the United States is doing everything in its power to rush the affordable and devastating missile solution to its Eastern European ally. As of February 2023, the United States intended to send more than $2 billion worth of military aid to Ukraine. More than half of that money would go into the newly created Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative, or USAI, which gives President Joe Biden's administration the ability to acquire weapons for Ukraine directly from the arms industry, rather than from American weapon stocks. The USAI funds will be used to purchase the ground-launched small-diameter bomb produced by Boeing and Saab. Apart from its multiple angles of attack, 
The weapon has a range of 94 miles, allowing Ukraine to target previously inaccessible targets and support its counterattacks by disrupting Russian forces deep within its territory. After the United States declined Ukraine's requests for the Atakums missile on several occasions by claiming that its almost 200-mile range would risk escalations with Russia, the GLSDB is expected to be an ideal solution that will allow Ukraine to extend its operational artillery range without risking more tensions. While the US and most European countries continue to be hesitant in providing Ukraine with more advanced weapons capable of reaching further into Russia, the GLSDB appears to be a formidable compromise that significantly expands Ukraine's reach and ability to defend itself without overstepping the often hazy line that would lead to more conflict with Russia. Shut up, glide down. The GLSDB is designed to be launched by already widely used ground-based missile systems such as the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System and M142 HIMARS. The HIMARS is a simplified, less armored version of the M270, which is much more mobile, light, and affordable. The Ukrainian forces have at least 15 operational M270 MLRS and over 20 HIMARS provided by the US. With another 18 HIMARS currently in production and expected to be delivered soon to Ukraine, the missile system is highly familiar to Ukrainian troops and has been used with lethal efficiency. As such, adding the GLSDB to its roster of guided munitions will significantly enhance what the Ukrainian military can do with its available artillery systems. After the projectile is launched by the HIMARS system, its newly incorporated M26 rocket motor takes over to deliver the bomb as close to its target as possible. As it cruises, the navigation system allows it to be navigated around obstacles like mountains and known anti-air defenses, contrasting traditional artillery that follows a parabolic arc towards its objective. Once above its target, the bomb uses its air-to-ground features to accurately glide down to its target and even reposition itself to engage the objective from different angles of attack. This capability negates the protection of mountainsides and rough geography. The relatively cheap solution is expected to deliver significant advantages to the Ukrainian military. At the moment, the Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System, or GMLRS, is Ukraine's longest range weapon, with a range of roughly 48 miles. As wartime technology evolves, more projects such as the GLSDB can be expected to appear as the world demands an effective and affordable solution that can be developed out of already available components. Only time will tell how this new development will reshape the future of how wars are fought. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. For more incredible warfare technology, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest content. And if you want to delve into how the technology is used in history's most brutal battles, click on your screen and check out our other Dark Documentaries channels. We publish regularly. So stay tuned.